Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. I am just an ambassador. So most recently, I'm a CNCF ambassador. Previously, I'm a Cloud Casa ambassador and also Calico Big Cats ambassador. In addition, I'm also AWS community builders and also Alibaba Cloud MVP. I love Google Cloud and uh, I love Kubernetes as well. I'm fully certified on Kubernetes. So far, I'm five and a half times Google Cloud certified. Today's topic, free GKE backup tool on Google Cloud. So I'm going to talk about the number one free open source Kubernetes backup tool. It's called Valaro. Let's get started. If you don't have a GKE cluster, so here is a two links. So first of all, you need five minutes to sign up a trial account on Google Cloud. And after you have a trial account, you can automate a GKE 1.26 cluster with PostgreSQL database deployed in just about five minutes. Okay, once you have a GKE cluster up running, here is the prerequisites to enable Valaro on GKE. So first of all, you don't need Kubernetes cluster version 1.16 or plus with DNS and the container networking enabled. Secondly, you need a terminal to be able to access the cluster by kube control. Once you have the environment, I mean the prerequisites ready, it's really just three simple steps to enable GKE container backups by Valaro. So number one, you need to set up a GCS, Google Cloud Storage, storage Bucket. And secondly, you need to give the right permissions for Valaro to use. And last but not least, you can go ahead to install and start Valaro. So without wait, let me show you how to do it. I actually, even the three simple steps, to a lot of people, if you're not familiar to Google Cloud, it is also pretty challenging. So that's why I automated the whole process. Literally, you just run one command. The one command listed here, it's called valaro-deploy.sh. So how to get started? You open Cloud Shell, and you clone the repository from my GitHub page, and then you run this command. The bottom of the screen, you can see once you've done your testing, you might don't need to be charged by Google Cloud. So you can run valaro-destroy.sh to clean them up. So how long it take? You only need less than one minute. Most of the time for my testing, only about 40, 50 seconds, I can enable the container backup on Google Cloud on the GKE cluster by Valaro just run this one magic command. Okay, let me jump to Google Cloud Web Console. So I log into the Google Cloud Web Console. So first step, you need to open Cloud Shell. So this is an icon to activate a Cloud Shell. So if you click activate a Cloud Shell, you might take a few seconds to bring up the terminal. I'm going to close the Cloud Shell from here. Since I already have a different tab, I already opened. So this is the scripts. I'm going to show you how it works, but you actually, you don't have to run all of the scripts. I'm just want to show you step-by-step step how it works. I'm going to click terminal, new terminal. And from here, since I actually created my GK cluster 1.26 via the automation, so I actually, I already cloned the repository. Uh, I just need to change it to the directory gke-casa. If you're not in this directory, if the directory wasn't exist, you basically copy the line number eight. Uh, that will allow you to clone the repository to your cloud shell. Since I already have that, so all I need to do is I just verify how many nodes I have right now. Right now, I do have a two node GK cluster running 1.26. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to verify how many namespace I have. 
So the rest of our system namespace, the only one which I really care is the young dash PostgreSQL database. By the way, it's part of my automation, how to automatically to create a GKE cluster. I also have the PostgreSQL database already deployed. And uh, I'm going to use this one as a sample database to show you how to recover, restore. In case something happened, my whole namespace is gone. I want to quickly recover my application. First of all, let's enable the Valaru backup on GKE cluster. All I need to do is just run the dot slash Valaru dash deploy dot sh and press enter. As I say, it only take uh, about 40, 50 seconds. Uh, let's just wait the command finish. And uh, once you've done your testing, I want to re uh, remind again, make sure you run Valaru dash destroy if you're not running in production, yeah, after your testing, you should destroy, clean up the environment because you don't want to keep charged by Google Cloud. So right now we are almost there. We're just waiting for Valaru resource up running. Actually, it's already done. Installation finish. We're do doing the one-time on-demand backup jobs or young dash post -grisico. And the job already finished. And also part of my automation, I also enable the hourly scheduled backup for your own dash PostgreSQL database. If you want to enable for some other namespace, I got the automation code. It's all publicly available from the GitHub page. So the first one, gk-casa, let me show you now. So the command which we're using is valaru-deploy. So if you look into the scripts, Towards the bottom of the screen, you can see how to run the on-demand backup jobs. You basically just run Valaru backup create, and you give a name, and then what exactly you want to include in the backup. So for my case, I just use young dash PostgreSQL namespace uh, as a backup. And for the hourly scheduled backup, also part of this uh, YAML file, uh, there is a way to specify which namespace you are going to back them up. Let me go back to show you the YAML file. So from here towards the bottom, you can see actually in the middle of the screen. So included the namespace, young dash PostgreSQL. Okay, that's how we can simply easily, quickly to enable Valor backup on GKE cluster. So by now, how long it take? This time actually it's a lot faster. It only takes 33, 38 seconds. So is all of my state, uh, stuff are up running? Let me do a verification. If I'm going to run get pods, get all the pods, you can see after you enable Valaru, you would see there is a namespace called Valaru. And inside of the namespace, there is a pod that is up running. So it is running about two minutes ago. And by now, actually, the enable of GKE container backup, it's already done. Valaru already in place. We already did, we already did the one on-demand backup jobs. And in the meantime, we are going to schedule the backups to run every hour. Yep. But now, since we already have on-demand backup jobs, the next step I'm going to show you here is we actually already 42 seconds, 38 seconds actually, this time. One minute, we already enabled the container backups on GKE via Valaru. So the next, I'm going to show you, let's simulate a disaster. So disaster does happen sometime. So I'm going to destroy the whole namespace, which is yon dash PostgreSQL. And then I will confirm the namespace is gone. And after that, I will show you how to restore my application back. First of all, you can list your backups and then you can run the command Valaru restore to restore from the backup. So come back to the terminal here. Let me run this command. I'm going to remove a similar disaster to delete my existing namespace and press enter. It take a few more seconds. So once the deletion finish, I'm going to run another command I'm going to verify if yon dash PostgreSQL has been deleted. So paste the same command, get the namespace showing not found, okay? Now let's see, do we have a backup? 
So I can run the command Valaro backup get to check if I have a backup. Yes, I do have a backup. My initial on-demand backup jobs completed successfully and uh, expires in 29 days. So by default, it will keep for 30 days. And my storage location, that's default. Okay, how to restore? So all I need to do is just copy this command, Valaro restore, create from backup, from which backup? This is a name, the name are from here, okay? So I'm going to copy this command and uh, I'm going to paste the command line, press enter. So shortly, they will give you the details. Actually, while we are running, I'm going to monitor the namespace. Shortly, you can see Yon dash PostgreSQL, the new namespace has been created and we're creating the containers right now. So typically also within like a one minute or seconds, the containers will be restored successfully. And if you do want to verify, actually after the Valaro restore create command, you should be able to see there are two command listed here. If you want to run Valaro restore describe this job, you should be able to check the restore job details. Or you can run another command, Valaro restore logs to check the logs. So for now, let me see. Yeah, actually, while we're talking here, 48 seconds, the PostgreSQL database has been restored successfully. If I want to verify the namespace again, so you will see the namespace just created like a 68 seconds ago. If you want to check what's inside of that namespace, so let's see. So basically everything has been restored successfully. You might have a state of sets, you might have a services, you have ports or running good. So I think uh, that's all I want to show you. How simple, how easy to use the open source tool of Valaro to enable container backups on GKE cluster. So let me come back to my slide deck here. I haven't shown you how to check the restore logs. Basically, you just copy the command and from the restore job, uh, it will print the two commands. One is check the restore job details. The other one is check the restore logs. So just to show, include a few reference commands for you. So the first one, page one, how to verify my backup jobs. You can use Valaro backup get, or you can use Cube control get backups. But you need to make sure with the namespace dash in Valaro. And you can also verify your schedule. You can run very, uh, Valaro schedule get. You can optionally including the minus O YAML to show uh, YAML as a YAML file. And all alternatively, you can run Cube Control Get Schedules minus N Valaro to check the schedule. In addition, if I want to verify my backup storage location, you can run Valaro Backup Dash Location Get, or you just run Cube Control Get Backup Storage Location. Optionally, if you want to create a schedule to run the job every five minutes. So here is a command, Valaro schedule create every five minutes. And this is a name, schedule name, and then the schedule is uh, at every five minutes. Okay, one of the typical use case. So basically Valaro was designed for your container backups, it's designed for your container disaster recovery. It's designed for your container migration use cases. And most often before you upgrade, before you're patching, you might have better to have a backup. So why Valaro for GKE? So there are multiple, a lot of different tools on GKE. Google also have its own backup for GKE. So as you can see, how to enable Valaro on GKE, it only takes 38 seconds. Definitely it's one, less than one minute. That's why it makes uh, Valaro the number one free open source Kubernetes backup tool. It has been trusted by many customers globally. 
So focusing on specialize on the three different use case, container data production, container data migration, container disaster recovery. It is relatively mature and uh, it is a very good fit for skilled technical users. If you are not a very much detailed technical guy, you might find it's a little bit hard to use because the fully command line driven, you need to remember all these commands. Okay, is there any alternatives? So definitely, if you don't like the command line tool, you want to have a very easy, very simple to use web UI, Cloud Castle actually have the best of the best for the Kubernetes backup uh, DRO migration. Not to mention it's a backup as a service tool. It comes with a managed storage. You don't need to worry about the upgrade patching, et cetera. And uh, there are a lot of advanced features also uh, included, like a built-in encryption, built-in multi-class management, uh, built-in security scan, et cetera. So I'm not going to talk too much here, just to give you some idea. If you do love Valaro, it's one of the best free open source tool. But if you don't like the command line tool, there is a best alternative from Cloud Casa. I actually, I also include in the link here, I have a playlist to talk about how to enable Cloud Casa on different platforms, including GKE and other Kubernetes distributions. A few reference links. If you need to know how to install Valaro, how to uh, enable Cloud Casa, and also including my automation source code link here. And feel free to join my Kubernetes user group and feel free to join my Kubernetes data management LinkedIn group. And I also have a group chat. Uh, that's uh, my uh, Telegram, feel free to join me. So coming next. So this is the first uh, Valero video I recorded. One minute to enable container backups via Valero on GKE. Next, I'm going to do the similar thing for Amazon EKS, for Microsoft Azure AKS, and uh, Red Hat OpenShift services on AWS, short as Rosa. I think that that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching. If you find it is useful for to you, please feel free to like and share my video to your friends. Thank you so much. Have a good one.